Homunculus. A psychological horror manga written and illustrated by Hideo Yamamoto, the story delves into the realm of psychological horror, exploring themes of human consciousness, mental illness, and the supernatural, not to mention the concepts of inner demons and fears that people carry with them. It follows a middle-aged man named Susumu Nakoshi, who is homeless, but also a big car guy. He can tell what's wrong with the car just by the sound it makes, and he also lives in one. He spends his time between a park full of homeless people and an upper-class complex hotel. He is chosen by Manabu Ito to be an experimental guinea pig as he's neither an egocentric wealthy guy nor a pitiful homeless man. He is just in between, the perfect subject. The procedure that Manabu is planning is a basic trepanation, which is when a circular hole is drilled into the skull, one of the oldest surgical procedures known to man. It has been used many times to relieve pressure buildup of fluids such as pus, blood or even air, but this deal has a twist. It's said that some people who have this procedure end up with odd abilities such as being able to see homunculi. Nakoshi disagrees at first, but after getting his car towed away and staying with the homeless people from the park, he decides that the experimental surgery is a cost he's willing to pay to get his car back. Eventually, they follow up on the procedure and it's successful without any major setbacks. He then makes a deal with Manabu to meet on a schedule and discuss his well-being as well as his experience since the trepanation. This is where the manga really picks up, as after the trepanation, Nakoshi is able to see the homunculi, which are essentially the inner trauma, guilt, and the subconscious of other people. After this, Nakoshi starts interacting with the people who do have these homunculi in an attempt of self-discovery, and not to just help them. In fact, he's probably one of the only selfish protagonists I've seen in a while, at least that's my take. I truly think that he saw it all being about him. In the process of interacting with these homunculi, he helps people to come to terms with their trauma and guilt they've been living with, but at the same time, helps himself with similar trauma he's been through. Of course, the process of helping them with this doesn't always go well, which brings an interesting question with it. Is it ethical to break people down just to build them back up again? If done with consent, purposeful intention, ethical methods and accountability, it could be an option. Unfortunately, all of this is missing when Nakoshi decides to do it to other people without their consent. After each person he helps, he inherits a part of their homunculi onto himself, possibly symbolizing that he's already dealt with that part of himself, in turn building up on his own homunculi which is a mashup of other people's. Hideo Yamamoto's distinctive and detailed artwork complements the story very well. His ability to depict the psychological and grotesque elements of the story adds to the manga's overall impact, and really helps you immerse yourself into the work. The manga has very thought-provoking themes related to hidden aspects of the human psyche, and it knows exactly how to hook you in to keep reading. It really excels in creating a sense of unease and psychological horror for the faint-hearted. And I do have to warn of explicit scenes and topics that rhyme with grape, so don't read it if you're uneased about such topics. The manga also delves into philosophical concepts and raises existential questions about the nature of existence, reality and self. It challenges you to contemplate the mysteries of the human mind and the boundaries of consciousness. I would love to tell you everything about this manga in this video, but I feel like you wouldn't get the same experience as reading it. The manga only has 15 volumes and it's already finished, so if you really get into it, you could probably finish it in a day. But it will leave you thinking for a while about not only the story itself, but the topics it covers. I also already have a playlist that I've found specifically for this manga. It has music that fits very well into the story and the vibe of the manga itself, so I'll leave a link for that in the description if you're interested. It's very much elevated my experience to say the least. It's important to note that this manga is not for everyone. Its mature themes, disturbing content, and graphic depictions may be off-putting to some readers. However, for those who appreciate psychological horror and are interested in a manga that delves into the depths of the human psyche, I definitely recommend this manga. Just be aware that it's more of a slow-paced story. I also want to quickly mention a homunculus movie that Netflix decided to make. It skips on important messages about class systems, narcissism, and gender identity to make it more marketable. It feels like a hollow show of the original work. That's only my opinion though, as many people who watched it without reading the manga thought it was a decent film. The only thing that didn't completely turn me off the film was the special effects as it was cool to see some of the homunculi in live action. And of course, the acting performances. Those two things are the only good things about it. In conclusion, I would recommend to just read the manga as the movie itself is pretty bad and lacks the feeling the manga brought with it. 